Jesse. Yeah, what's up, dude? What are you doing? Oh, dude, I'm doing a uh, bicep push-ups. Ruining push your wrists. What? Bicep push-ups. Wait, you said? Bicep push-ups. You know, biceps, pew, pew, just like that. They work your triceps. No, man, I think they're biceps. It's bicep push-up. Do you remember your two chest exercises? Yes. Do you remember the kettlebell clean? Yes. Have you decided to stop making up exercises? Apparently not. I can't take you. Oh, come on, man. <laughs>
on your, uh, your lower leg like this, and then you lift yourself up that way. The difference being that once your shoulders leave the mat here, you have more weight that you have to pull up, whereas on the sideline, you're getting a little bit of assistance from your arm into the ground. But again, sort of a step up, but not great. And I've also shown you how you can use your own leg, and though not the weight of your damn leg, that's not what's providing the resistance there. It's the fact that you can push with your leg to create accommodating resistance. In other words, I could take my leg here and push it out in this direction, and create an eccentric overload on the biceps. Or I can just simply push in that direction to make the concentric portion, having to pull this up if this is pushing back, it makes it more difficult for the, the bicep to do the work. But all those guys fall into sort of that middle of the road category. But if you don't have any options, you don't have any equipment, then that's what you would do. But here's my suggestion. Get a damn pull-up bar. Because when you do that for a very inexpensive outlay of money here, you open up the possibility to actually get some really good bicep exercises. You have the option to do chin-ups. You have the option to do bicep chin curls like we showed before. You have the option to do something like even a negative eccentric hang where you just simply try to hold on as long as you can and eccentrically load and overload the biceps. You can go even more difficult and either throw a little bit of weight around your waist if you have the option to do weighted chins or you simply try to do a one-arm chin-up with assistance from the other hand. It just opens up so many better possibilities, but understand this, they're all resisting the flexion part. I'm putting the load on the bicep, on the elbow, closing down and creating flexion, not while I'm extending it. And remember, when we're falling down on the bicep push-up towards the ground, yes, you are bending your elbow here, but it's happening because gravity's doing the work for you. Whether or not I tried to lower myself down under control or I just let myself drop, I'm gonna flex the elbow because gravity's doing all that work for me. Just because you go into that range doesn't mean that that's being resisted. You have to focus on what is being resisted to find the benefit for you in the exercise you're doing. So hopefully I didn't bash on that one too bad. Jesse was wrong again. It's okay. He does that from time to time. In the meantime, if you're looking for a program that does get it right, our Athlean Zero program is a bodyweight only program that requires no equipment whatsoever. You can find that over at athleanx.com. If you found the video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below. If you find these breakdowns of these exercises helpful, I hope it clarifies, maybe even settles a few arguments for you. People were asking me to do this on an Instagram Live a few days ago, and I was like, why? It doesn't work the biceps. But now maybe this clarifies it. And if you haven't already done so, guys, make sure you click subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video when we put one out. All right, guys, see you soon. Oh, 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 oh.